Hello, Hamish here from mortgagesonline.co.nz. I've got Casmira with me today. We're talking changes in the residential uh, tenancies amendment bill. Am I saying it right, Casmira? Yes, you are. So what kind of lovely changes have we got to look forward to? Um, so first of all, hi Hamish, and thanks for having me here today. Um, so the residential tenancies amendment bill was passed earlier this month. There's a couple of key changes that I was going to mention. The first one is around tenants giving 28 days notice to end a tenancy. That's up from the previous 21 days. Right. So a week longer than it used to be. The amount of notice that landlords have to give to evict a tenant if yep. the landlord themselves or a family member or employee want to move into the place has also gone up and that's gone up from 42 days to now 63 days. Landlords also won't be able to evict a tenant without a reason um, and the, that reason has to follow specific grounds that are outlined in the new law changes. Yep. Landlords also can't list a rental property without a price attached, and they can't tell people that they could secure property by paying more or hold an auction to drive a price up. This is really for fairness and transparency when it comes to what rental properties charge. Um, however, tenants will still be allowed to make an offer above a listed price if they so wish to. Oh, okay, that's and that's an interesting point. So you can't um, say that you might take a higher rent or that might influence your decision, but the tenant can actually offer to pay more. Yes, they can. So basically it can't be driven by the landlord but if a tenant on their own after seeing the listing price felt that they could offer more in order to increase their chances of securing the tenancy they could do that okay and um oh one one thing casmira so this here um it's kind of interesting some of these things like for example uh you know 63 days notice if the landlord or family or employee is moving in Yes. Um, how will they police that? Well, there are extra rules around that. So the new person, the landlord or family member or employee, has to move in within 90 days. Yeah. And they have to remain there for at least three months. So this is to make sure that it's not just being used as an excuse to evict a tenant, but it is for genuine reasons. Right, okay, cool. Which again is a bit bizarre because tenants can give 28 notice but family members must live there for three months. That's right. Any other changes that you yeah, can think so of really are important? Big, a really big change that has already um, taken effect and this is because of COVID-19 and the fact that a lot of people are facing financial struggles is that rent can now only be increased once a year. Previously, rent could be increased after 180 days, which is about six months. So that time has doubled. So what that means for landlords is that it is really important to get the price right from the start. And as I mentioned before, we know now that every um, rental property that's listed has to have a price. We also have to make sure that that price is right, because if it isn't, we have to wait a lot longer to increase the rent which i think is pretty fair like i mean um yeah i think rent increases every six months is a little bit uh, a little bit hard for anyone really um yeah i agree um and i think um what are your thoughts any kind of what do you where do you think i guess as a, as a property manager the need for having a good property manager tenant selection uh dealing with evictions is going to become uh, more of a profession than it's ever been. How, how are you feeling about dealing with all this mess? Yeah, I mean, um, so a lot of these changes um, do add an extra layer of security and protection for tenants, which is great. But what that also means for landlords is that it is critical to find the right tenants because um, it is going to be a lot more difficult to get rid of tenants. 
So where um, the work comes in for us is really with tenant recruitment and selection, with the background checks and making sure that we have the right people in there from the start and also managing that tenancy um, regularly by going in and doing inspections and dealing with any issues swiftly as they arise. Okay, and um, so Kasmira, your A grade property, any particular area that you specialize in or suburb? I focus on the South Auckland region yep. in Auckland, but I can manage properties all over Auckland and we have property managers all over the place. I should mention you um, that, uh, look, if you want to get hold of Casimira, obviously, what's the best way to do that as well, Casimira? Probably on email, casimira at agradeproperty.com or on yeah. our website, www.agradeproperty.com. Property.com. Uh, otherwise, I might put a, uh, put your details or your link somewhere around. but. Kasmira is spelled K-A-S-M-I-R-A. -A. Uh, thanks for coming in and sharing your thoughts though, Kasmira. Um, thanks, Hamish. That's been quite handy. And hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully that has been uh, helpful to you.